Hello everybody. Welcome to Grandpa's Toy Shop. Today we are going to make a two and a half ton truck, military truck. All right, for today's video, we're gonna need a two by four that I've already cut. I've ripped it down. The bottom is a half inch thick and the two parts that make the cab and the engine compartment are two inches wide. One is three inches long. One is an inch and a quarter long and they're both three quarters of an inch thick. All the rest of this stuff is either the round bar for the axles, the 7 sixteenths for the headlights, and all the rest of it comes from the stir sticks that you can pick up at uh, either the blue store or the orange store. They usually sell them in packs of five. All these parts here, these are for the wheel wells in the truck. They're going to be two inches long by an inch and five eighths wide, and there's two of them glued together. This is the main rails that go down the back. We'll show you where they all go later. These are four inches long, five eighths wide, and about a quarter inch thick. And we glue two of these together. They come out of the stir stick. And all the rest of the pieces are cut from the stir sticks. All right, we're gonna be drilling 9 32nd holes to hold the quarter inch rods for the the axles for the wheels. The first hole is going to be one inch and this will be the front tire and the two back ones are going to be the first one is going to be three quarters of an inch in and the second one is going to be two and a half inches in. All right because this was cut out of a two by four it has warped considerably, you can see it, but we're not going to throw it away because of the cost of lumber and we're just going to be able to glue the other pieces swapping back and forth. All right, these are the two blocks that we glued together. I told you about these earlier and we set our compass at seven eighths and we set it up quarter of an inch and right in the middle, just like when we glue it, it'll be, it'll line up with the holes in the side down there. And we draw these out. Okay, and I need my pencil. And we're gonna have these so they're not square, so we're gonna just draw a line so we can nip these corners off. You don't have to be exact because one's on one side, one's on the other. And nobody's going to tell the difference. And the other thing is, don't forget they're toys. All right, now we're going to go over to the scroll saw and cut these out. We're going to cut out the axles and we're going to cut the 5 sixteenths to get the wench that'll go in the front of the truck. This is a 7 sixteenths dowel rod that has been cut up the middle. You don't have to be too exact because... Well, they're toys and you just use in half and it'll be glued to the front of the truck and that's all there is to that one all right the next one is two and seven eighths because i like that little recess for the glue when we're doing the wheels everything we do is two inches wide now, if you want, you can do away with one of the holes in one of the axles and just glue the wheels on a little high. Nobody will know the difference, just as long as you have the two that'll run. All right. The next thing is, is the fender wells for the front of the truck. Go ahead. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, we had a little mishap there, but we got it fixed now. I'll put a little thicker blade in. The only bad thing about using a thicker blade is it makes a little more of a rough cut. Oh. Don't let it get away from you. Okay, that's that. 
All right, right now we're going to just sand this so the start and stop marks are gone and it looks a little more rounded. Okay, the next step is, is we're going to sand all these little parts by hand. I'm not going to videotape that because it takes way too long and it's boring. I've already taken the axles and glued three of the wheels on because I like to do that just so it won't... Uh, break when I or move when I glue the other wheel on all right because it's so warped and like I said we're not going to waste money a little lower because lumber is getting very expensive right now make sure you get it where the single axle is I hate to glue it on the wrong side That would make me look kind of foolish. This is the actual cab of the truck. And these are the basically the main seats for the back of the truck. And I do believe I'm going to have to trim them down just a hair. Yep. So I have to get my saw guide in. need all them later all right so we have to trim just a hair off the edge because they were a little too long Cab. Are we going to do any more sawing? We might. Hopefully I got everything cut and it's pretty... We don't have to cut too much more. But you never know. Okay, these are the main seats. You're going to be gluing them so the high part is up higher than the The three quarter inch high end is up. And you can be liberal with the glue. Okay. Now we'll set this one aside and let it dry up a little bit. And we'll come back to it. <laughs> All right. The next step we're going to do is. We're actually going to glue these seats on. And these also act as the wheel wells. Hmm. This is how you want it to look so that they'll overhang a little bit. And now we're going to glue the back of the seats on. <coughs> I'm 
Let's see it's This piece is going to glue on right there. And these are going to be the back of the seats. These are the quarter inch thick stir sticks and they're cut, ripped to five eighths of an inch. Okay, this is how it's going to look, the back and the side. And we'll put this one aside to dry. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue the wheel wells on. And we're going to make sure that when we do, we fit the wheel in there and it doesn't, it's not affected by anything. You have plenty of room to move it around. Looks good. And we'll get the other side. And we'll do the same thing. Just to make sure that the wheel will turn free in there. And oh yeah, we got plenty of room. This is a good thing. Double check, make sure. And it's a beautiful thing. Okay, and we'll put this aside to let dry. All right, now we're going to be gluing up the back bumper in the tailgate section. Once again, this is the quarter inch stick, stirring stick, and it's been ripped down to a half inch to accommodate the back of the, the base of the truck where it's been, where the wheels are, all right? Part of the tailgate there, which is part of the eighth inch stir stick, and that's been cut to five eighths, and this piece has been cut three inches wide, five eighths thick. Oh, this piece is three quarters. This is two inches by five eighths. And this is two inches by two inches. Half inch piece. Two inches by five eighths and three quarter by three inches. And we'll put this one aside to dry. Okay, now, coming up near the end, this one's already got the front, the front bumper glued on. Put a little glue, and this is for the wench, which goes right in the middle. And like I say, you don't have to get too carried away, just so long as it looks like it belongs there. These are the two headlights. Once again, you don't have to get carried away, just so long as they kind of look even. Okay. Now the next part is going to be, these were cut actually from just a regular popsicle stick. And this is going to be for the windshield. These were cut one and five eighths. So when you glue them on, they don't overhang and they'll... Now these trucks are always a work in progress. When I first started, they were quite a bit different and I will show you what they looked like. This is for the side window. And this is the side window. Oh, and my trusty sidekick, Wyatt, he's got, got it all ready for me. So when you start copying or, or changing it, this is how it looked originally. It was a block top was a big block. This is a lot more sturdier. So if you've got little kids and they like to destroy things, this might be a better design. It's just a solid block from a two by four and then some rails were glued onto the back, onto the side. 
All right. So this is pretty much it. The only thing we got now is put the wheels in. Okay. There's a little screw eye, you pull it up so now it's a hook. And that's what's going to be holding your cannon, your limber, or anything else you want to put on the back. Oh, here he is to show us. And that's it. Nice and easy. And give it a little sanding after. Everything's all good and dry. You can add um, running boards down here if you'd like. You can put other things, your jerry can. And there it is. Two and a, we just knitted a two and a half ton truck. Hope you have fun building this one. See you next time. And we're going to build the armored car. And that'll be it for this set of... Oh, there we brought it up. This will be the armored car. It's almost like the tank, but it's just missing a set of wheels. A little smaller. A little more fun, I think, than building the tank. Smaller barrel. We'll see you next time.